as a matter of fact, it's our biggest single market. So while we, we talk to our, our shareholders about the fact that we're much more diversified, which is true, because this used to be you know, 60 or 70 percent of our revenues, and it's now less than, it's still our biggest single market. And it's a critical market to come into in a lot, on, on several dimensions. First, you know, we derive a lot of volume, meaning a lot of our sort of cost base by, by uh, what we sell in the truck markets globally, and this is our largest one that we sell into. So it's a big volume driver for us. It's also a critical leading technology market. So just as I demonstrated with the construction side, we develop a lot of technologies into the truck market, prove them out, and then we use those technologies in one form or the other in a whole bunch of other markets. So the fact that we can participate here in the truck market allows us to get ahead on those technology investments and you know, play them out both from a reliability and durability, but also just a pure development point of view. And lastly, we have partnerships here that we leverage across the world. So a lot of the OEMs that you, we, you'll see out there also participate in other markets. So just like we, I mentioned with the Chinese construction com com makers coming here, we partner with these uh, OEMs here in North America and go other places with them. So it's a big market for us. It, make, it means a lot to us. American uh, truck market is we have to earn the business every day. So. Um, all of you know, most of our customers make their own engines, or at least some of their own engines, too. So, uh, they, you know, they, while I, they enjoy our participation in their product line, you know, they have their own engines, and we have to figure out how, over time, they continue to buy from us and, and seek and form partnerships with us that lead to benefits for both sides. So we're out there hustling and earning the business every day. And, you know, how we do that, um, is kind of the, the main strategy we have, set of strategies we have in the North American truck market, how we kind of continue to their business. It's hard enough to do, but simple to say. It really has three major planks. The first, which you've heard a lot about, both from Rich and Steve, was about, being, about technical leadership. So as an independent engine manufacturer, we have to have the best set of technologies and best products to offer, or we won't make it. So we can't be the same, can't be equal, have to be better. That's that just fundamental starting point for companies. We have to be better. And we think about how we're going to be better as saying we're going to have the key technology subsystems, the ones that really drive performance, they drive emissions, they drive fuel economy, right? They drive the key elements of purchase that people, why an end customer wants the engine or wants the vehicle without power in it. They're the ones that really deliver the critical value. So if it's really hard to make and hard to get right, that's the one we want to do. If it's easy and everybody can do it, we'll go ahead and buy that one. Right. So that, those are the ones we're going to be on. And we're going to think not just about how they do individually, but how they come together in a system that works the best. Because you know, if, you, if you just took an outline drawing of our engine and most of the engines out there, and you, you squinted your eyes a little bit, they wouldn't look that different, with the possible exception of one or two in the market today. But most of them would look roughly the same. Um, and, and what I mean by that is, you'll see a lot of the same gizmos, right? So what, and in fact, we sell some of those to other people. But how they go together, and how they fit, how they integrate well together, it really has a lot to do today with the final product in terms of both its reliability and its performance. So that's a big part for us. So in, uh, key subsystems and how they integrate. Second is global truck position. Rich talked about that. So we, we want to make sure that we're in the big global big truck markets around the world for a couple of reasons. First is, again, we have volume and scale. So we're able to do development and leverage over a lot of different products. And we're able to get a cost base. We can find the best suppliers, lowest cost, best quality, no matter where they are. So we'll source products from all over the world. Uh, and we'll look for who has the best cost base and who has the best quality. And the best quality isn't found always where you think it's going to be found anymore. Now there are, we have quality, we have uh, some suppliers in places that you might think of as low cost supply markets like India and China that are the best quality manufacturers of those components anywhere in the world. I'm convinced, my, I was, as you know, I was in purchasing, so I, I have a few, few points of view on this, but the best quality fasteners in the world are made by Sundram fasteners in India. The best quality in the world. I'm convinced of it. So they're not always where you think they're going to be found. And we're going to find the best ones. Again, because we have to be the best, not as good or whatever, but the best. The other thing Global Truck gives you 
is it gives you a chance to look at these different markets and understand the markets close up and begin to get technology innovation looking at things a bunch of different ways. So we're developing SCR systems, for example, in China, which have to come in at about half the cost of the SCR systems in, in the US. So what, we don't know exactly what the standard's gonna be. We know they're gonna have one, but we don't know what it's gonna be. There's, it works a little different in China than does here. The enforcement's a little different, and so we don't exactly know what they're gonna enforce, but we know it needs to cost half as much. How's that for a different sort of twist on the thing? So when we come up with a system that costs half as much, if it gets pretty close to the standard that we think is here, getting, maybe t taking that one and developing upwards might give us a whole new innovation on how to do SCR systems, right? So all kinds of stuff are going on like that, all the time, in India, in China, and Brazil. So global truck position is gonna mean a, be a big driver of how we lead in technology. And third is, we're, gonna, we're learning how to integrate with customers better. That would that be the thing I think we've done better in 2010, for example. 07, we made improvements in 2010, much further improvements, uh, much, much further on this. We've made improvements on integrating with customers so the end user gets a better experience, <coughs> the, the truck and power together. Because they don't really want to know that the engine works well, the truck works well, they just don't perform well together. That's not so interesting to them. Right? How it works all as one package is what they want. We've done a lot better, more technical work on how we make sure that happens in 2010. So that's, that's another part of how we're going to lead technically.